Hi everyone, welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Today is the YouTubers Weekly Nail Art Stamping Club and hosting this one is Handy Helper and the theme is blue. The links to everyone's videos will be in the description box below as soon as I receive them. Our Instagram links are already there, so check us out on Instagram. You're seeing everyone's awesome pictures. Mine will be the last one and then I'll show you how I created it. Today I'll be using um, a polish from the Matt Zoya Velvet Collection and this is called Eves. I actually love the Matte Velvet polishes from Zoya. Now they are a little on the thin side so when applying these you have to make sure that you're applying really thin coats. Because if not, they will run down the sides of your finger and flood your cuticles. And blue is not fun to get off of your cuticles. Ooh, this has such a beautiful satiny, velvety finish. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put a second coat on. And we'll wait for that to dry and come back. I'm going to add some liquid latex around the nails that I am stamping to protect my skin. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this and wait for that to dry and come back. The stamping plate I'll be using today is Lena Make Your Mark 4. I'm using the Queen Sticky Stamper. And I'm using Twinkle Tea Stamping Polish Frye. I'll be using this image right here. Oh, I picked up the image really good. So the stamp part of the design here. Ooh, I like how that looks. Okay, we'll put some more of the design there. And this is the last nail I'll be stamping. Perfect. So now I'm just going to remove the liquid latex. And do that to the other fingernails and then clean it up and come back. To keep my stamping from bleed or running, smearing, smearing, <laughs> I'm going to use Little Undine, the matte um, top coat because it's water based and water based tends not to smear your stamping, water based top coats. So that's what I'm going to do because I think I would like to wear this velvety. I think it looks kind of cool. So I'm just going to put a coat of this over the stamping and then I'll wait for that to dry down to a matte finish. And then we'll come back. Now I'm going to top everything off with the matte velvet top coat. So it will dry to a velvety matte finish. And since the stamping was protected by the water-based top coat, I can also Steal that off now with matte top coat and my stamping won't smear. So here is the finished look. I love how it came out. <laughs> I must always sound surprised like, oh, that looks really good. Especially when I don't like pre-try my manis. I'm just like winging it and it's like, whoa, I like how that turned out. 
<laughs> well, I hope you guys like it too. So if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. And thank you for watching my video. Bye for now.